What's up ladies and gentlemen, back again with another video and today we're going to be reviewing uh, Bruce Lee, My Brother. Uh, this film was released in 2010 and the story was by Robert Lee, Bruce Lee's younger brother. Now if you watch this movie there's a disclaimer saying that, that this film is no way associated with uh, the Bruce Lee estate or the Bruce Lee foundation. This film was not approved by uh, Shannon Lee or her mother Linda Lee Cadwell. It was just it was like it's basically its own individual story, you know, because the previous uh, Bruce Lee biopics like Dragon the Bruce Lee Story and The Legend of Bruce Lee TV series, uh, those were approved by uh, the Bruce Lee estate. So I guess that's making them, I guess, quote unquote official. Uh, but no, this, this story is by uh, Bruce's younger brother, Robert Lee. And it takes place from uh, Bruce Lee's uh, birth all the way to uh, age of 18, you know. And unlike previous uh, Bruce Lee biopics, uh, this one is m much more of a drama. There's not that much uh, fight scenes like you see in Dragon the Bruce Lee story or The Legend of Bruce Lee or uh, the one that came out uh, a few years ago, uh, Birth of the Dragon. So this one pretty much focuses on Bruce Lee's childhood, how he met his, uh, you know, close friends and it, it delves into his uh, whole career as a uh, cha-cha dancer and eventually learning Wing Chun from uh, Grandmaster Ip Man and his other students. Uh, they have one scene where they actually have a, where um, they pay tribute to uh, the way the dragon fight scene between the actual Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. Uh, you know, they even have a, a cat included, and they pretty much do like a remix theme of, of the way of the dragon thing on there, where this fight takes place like in an abandoned uh, warehouse. You know, but no, this this like I said, this is more of a, a drama, uh, not not too much action in this biopic. And from what I read online, this one is pretty much the most uh, accurate uh, Bruce Lee biopic to date. You know, uh, which I believe the story is also based off of a book that uh, Robert Lee also wrote. Don't know the name of the book, but. Apparently the book and the movie, they're pretty much accurate in detail, at least most of it. You got like maybe uh, three fight scenes, but uh, no, it tries to portray his, his story as accurately as possible. And uh, like I said, it's more of a drama. It, it, it's a good drama too, you know, because it covers, uh, you know, Bruce's father's background as an uh, opera actor. The whole thing with you know uh, World War Two with the Japanese invasion and then you know the the Brits uh, you know trying to turn it into their own little um, way of I guess ruling the Chinese and stuff. So you know the first portion you, you, you're covering um, Bruce's father and then you know of course there's the birth of. Bruce Lee and then later on the birth of Robert Lee and then after that they delve into Bruce's childhood you know and then uh you know he was like a adolescence you know he got into trouble he got into a lot of fights you know he uh he did pranks Bruce Lee was a real prankster and um you know like I said he ends up learning martial arts so they get into the whole uh, Wing Chun aspect of things. And um, you have like, you know, like two or three fight scenes, you know, before he gets uh, shifted off to America, you know. And then pretty much a lot of the other biopics that they, they've covered, you know, what happens when he ends up going to America, you know, he ends up, you know, going to, uh, you know, college, he ends up getting involved in, uh, I believe Ed Parker's uh, karate championship tournaments where he'd be demonstrating his like one inch punch. All that stuff is covered in the previous biopics, but in this one they basically cover his birth all the way up to the age 18 before he gets shifted off to America and start a new life over there, you know. 
but overall, I thought this uh, biopic, Bruce Lee, My Brother, was an enjoyable flick. It has a slow buildup during the first portion of the half, but uh, during the second half, it really uh, picks up. You know, it really picks up uh, momentum and you really start getting invested in the whole story on how Bruce Lee became the man that he became, you know. So, um, uh, the, the, the young man he became, because technically he was only, you know, only, only up to uh, age 18, you know. But yeah, it, it covers uh, certain aspects that we didn't see in other Bruce Lee biopics, you know. So I'll probably cover, you know, Dragon Lee, the Bruce Lee story, uh, Legend of Bruce Lee, and Birth of the Dragon. Somewhere down the line, you, you, you guys, those that are that are um, loyal viewers of my channel, know that I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. I've unboxed a ton of Bruce Lee and Bruce Ploitation uh, stuff in my physical media library. So. Um, this will probably be one of the first in many uh, reviews that I cover on Bruce Lee and his uh, biopics and other stuff regarding, uh, you know, the philosopher, the actor, and the martial artist. But I would have to give uh, Bruce Lee, my brother, a B minus, and I'd probably give it a, a four star rating out of five out of the two. So. Uh, that is my ranking for Bruce Lee, my brother. Now, have you guys seen Bruce Lee, my brother? If you have, uh, comment below. Let me know. Uh, did you guys like this movie? Did you guys hate this movie? What are your thoughts on Bruce Lee? Do you have a favorite Bruce Lee movie or a favorite uh, Bruce Lee book that you have in your library? Uh, comment below. Let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys around for the next video all right peace